Hey everybody, uh, back in the garage. It's been a while. I've been waiting on a number of parts to come. And so what you see here on my bench, this is the panel that I ordered from Aerosport Products. Um, this one is, I think the G900, which is the one I really liked. Uh, but uh, you can see here, I just got it out of the box, just laid out some of these, just kind of thinking about how I'm gonna lay it out. But uh, so far that looks pretty good and with it, I also have this, which will be the centerpiece, which I'll show you in, once I get assembled. A couple of the side pieces, you got a spot for putting, you know, any kind of valves or anything you want to have. So for instance, opening cowl flaps, uh, heat vents and things like that. And then over here on the plane itself, you'll see, I've just got it laid in here, but this is the frame for that whole um, carbon fiber setup. So now what I got to do is I got to go fabricate some brackets that hold it on down here on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to start doing some of that. Then I've got to go and start thinking about assembling this piece, which is going to require drilling some holes out and getting that set up. And then of course, um, I've got a lot of cutouts to do. This part here is actually not going to stay. What you do is you cut almost all, almost all of this out actually. And same over here. And then what you do is uh, you're gonna put a, a panel, a metal panel insert, which will give it some rigidity for mounting your avionics onto it. Okay, a little more progress. In here you can see I put the brackets in that hold this frame on. Um, what I did is I used some temporary screws to put this up, make sure that it was nice and snug. And then I went in here and took this. Now this is actually from the bracket that came with the plane for the original plant panel. Um, you noticed I had already put a, uh, uh, a nut washer on there. So I just said, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it off. I had to trim it a little bit and cut it down a bit to get it to fit underneath this lip in here, you can see. But uh, it gives it, makes it pretty secure here. I really like it. And now I gotta drill the two holes to mount the front of it to this which should make it really secure. Okay, so a little more progress. I've got my little brackets. I trimmed off the corner. Like I said, this came off of the original bar that was supposed to go there, but now it's got three, so it's good and solid. I could actually get rid of one if I might need it to. Same on the, you know, I got the same thing on the other side. Took the little notch out, countersunk these. You always have to countersunk these guys which are the ones that go on the ribs. And uh, that way, when you put the face on this, the, the actual carbon fiber, it won't hit. So you countersink those for these, uh, these screws here, which are the uh, R8s. So anyway, made some progress here. Actually, as you can see, lots of stuff in the background. Uh, that has to do with the bag that I pointed out in the previous little clip that I had, that surprise bag, which I'll, I'll actually talk about in another episode. The other thing that uh, I wanted to point out is also with this kit, I ended up getting these vents that go into the, the carbon fiber panel. These have a spot on the back to attach to your, your NACA ducts. So if you're gonna get these, you gotta make sure you get the right ones. Um, the ones that go in the overheads have no back piece to them, but these do. And then that will actually run down. Anyway, cheers, bye. Okay, so here it is mounted. Looks pretty good. You'll see those are flush up here, right? Um, what's nice about it is now if I come around, Two things. One, like I mentioned earlier, now I can start planning out the brackets in here for the avionics that I want to put in there. And in addition, the way that I've got this, this whole section can actually come off, which means I can take it now, put it down on the bench and work on it and mount it all inside get my wiring all nice, put my grounding bus in there, you know, do all the pieces that I need to get done. 
So that's, uh, that's it. Oh, there's that bag that I mentioned. I wonder what's in that. But that'll be in another video. Anyway, it's, uh, it's good. The one thing that uh, I will note is these are gonna be a problem. Once you put the carbon fiber on, everybody talked about it, they've shortened them up. I've gotta go do that. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do yet, how to shorten them. If I'm just gonna go down here and cut them back, um, I really just haven't decided how I'm going to manage that yet. So I started to uh, put together the lower console. I didn't cut out the suctions yet. And what you've got to do here is you've got to drill a set of four holes. Now these are not the right size. What I did is I drilled them number 40 and then I'll drill them out to the proper size, which should be number 27. But you know, my concern was you want to make sure you get this lip here. It's not very wide. So what I did is I actually marked this lip on the inside um, about three quarters of an inch down, three quarters of an inch up, and then I spaced these um, equally between it. I drilled them from the inside to outside. And now that I've got that done, I will actually use my proper bit, the final bit, to enlarge them to the proper size. That way I want it to, that way it just kind of keeps them centered on this strip, making sure you don't miss it or get them a little off. And uh, also I find it's just probably a little easier when you're trying to measure where you want to put them to get them centered on this versus trying to put it center here because it's curved. So anyway, and just a quick tidbit here on it as I'm putting it together. Uh, so far so good uh, like I said pretty excited about it and you can see here right I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do but I may actually put my uh, my autopilot down here as well you know the 650 and the navcom and maybe the autopilot but it'll depend on kind of how much space I got left Cheers bye okay so here we go I now have it I still haven't put on the nut plates here but I've got it click in place. You can kind of see how it goes in here on the side. It's got a little slot for putting in uh, a couple of levers if you want to. I'll probably use it for opening the vents and handbrake, things like that. Um, this goes on top of the tunnel cover, which is not on here yet. So even though I've got these done, I need to, uh, I still need to go put the nut plates in here get that assembled, then this gets connected to this piece. <clears throat> and uh, once it gets connected, then it's a permanent unit and then you would have to go and match drill all the holes down here. So they match the tunnel cover so you can put that on. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good. And I don't know, I may be able to take this and put it down here. I was thinking I wouldn't be able to do that, but you know, maybe I can. So that's something I'll look at is maybe I can put the autopilot down there, which would make it a little bit, a uh, little bit more room. Of course, all my switches here, the knack events. And oh, one of the things you have to do here, at least for me, is I haven't done it yet, but this hair is pretty snug. So I'm probably gonna have to trim that off or actually not trim it, but just sand it down a little bit to make it look good and uh, to fit nice and clean. Also, like I mentioned, you know, one of the nice things is I'll be able to take this whole canopy off or this, this front piece off. And that means uh, once I've got these cut out and it's all fitted nicely, I can then go and start using that. And I'll use a, I don't know, probably some temporary plate to put in here to just get a feel for it and mount some of the, some of the items on it see how it looks. Ultimately, uh, I've been talking to Aerosport Products. One of the things they'll do for you is they'll actually, they have a, a CNC machine, so they'll cut out the holes for you, make them all along and nicely. I hope you enjoyed it. They can also do some engraving, uh, so I'll probably while, get them but, uh, to do the forget, final panels like the video, that go inside like, the inserts. And uh, coming and, uh, up, the, I'll the have the, be, probably a little surprise with the bag and Kind of give you a little bit of an idea of uh, what I'm doing with that's, that and where that's That's how it's looking. Anyway, so cheers. Pretty excited about it. I know. 
And oh, and here you can really see now, it, like this is hitting it here. Really wouldn't want to have that. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I do here. Do I trim those back? And that'll move it back this way more, right? Towards the back, uh, have to decide. It'll also change the dynamics because obviously before this could go this far, I'm about to make it go shorter distance. So, anyway. <clears throat> something to be figured out, not a priority yet. The other thing I had is uh, when I put the plate in here, the, the frame, it's a little bit of a bulge, so I think the, uh, the metal there is gonna be hammered back a little bit. But overall, overall it's, uh, it's looking, I like the way it's gonna look.